That's awesome. So you, you said you want to be a billionaire. Does that tie in with wanting to own a team one day? Uh, at some point, I think I probably will, but I don't know if I'll own a team in baseball or if I'll own a team in another sport. Uh, I think, awesome. yeah, so <laughs> I think that like I have a lot of ideas uh, on how to change the structure of an organization to be more uh, in line with where I see the, the future of sports going. Um, and I don't know if I'd be able to do that in baseball because it's right, so let me let me give so you a good scenario. I'm a huge New York Knicks fan. You you yeah. just bought the New York Knicks. What are you doing to change the organization? I'm investing in the the health and development of my players first and foremost. And I I don't want to say that they don't. I don't know what what the Knicks do. I don't know anything about the internal uh, you know operation. Um, yeah, but I'm investing in, in the development, the health and development of my players, high performance stuff like that. But from a biomechanics standpoint, from like a uh, physiology standpoint and stuff like that because I want my best players to be my best players every single night stay healthy be on the court right then I'm investing in um, the fans and connecting the fans bringing the fans back into the fold giving them ownership of the team in some way whether it's from you know making decisions on playlists that are played during the game uh, whether it's uh, you know having them in a certain uh, come, uh, meetings of, of the team live stream to the fans where they can have input on on certain things you know jersey decisions like so giving them some piece of ownership where they feel like they're like i'm part of this organization because i want that right I want, I want the fan base um i know the baseball industry a lot better so like in the baseball industry there's like six levels of minor leagues right now it doesn't we don't need that many per se um there's certain reasons why we do and like to help spread the game in, in smaller communities and stuff like that uh, but from a strictly player development standpoint, like there should be a research and development group, you know, where like you have players there to test new cutting edge things that you're not ready to roll out to your, to your big league guys yet, but like you can do a ton of development and find new things that work. That's not done right now. Um, I would take, I would have players be full-time employees. Uh, so it's like, you know, you're going to, you're going to train at our facility in the off season. Um, but we're going to, and this, this works in the minor leagues, not as much in the big league level, but we're going to pay you as a full-time employee. We're going to pay you a wage where you can live, but your job is to get better at baseball. And this is how you're going to do it. And you're going to be in our, in our system, in our facility and stuff like that. Um, th th there's so many things that I, you know, I'd have to look at the structure of the organization, right? But like it's, it's player health and safety and um, consistency. It's uh, drawing the fan base in and it's optimizing the organization it, structure itself so that you have the best people getting the best results. You sound like you'd be a great owner.